Happy Spring! Happy Spring! It's Peter Searcy here with Community and Council Realty. So just why am I wearing this jacket and this ridiculous tie? Well, it's Kentucky Derby time. I am originally from Louisville, Kentucky, home of the Kentucky Derby. And we have a lot of things. We have a lot of traditions in Kentucky with food, fashion that go along with the Derby, and we have a cocktail that goes along with the Derby. It's called the Mint Julep, and I'm gonna show you how to make it. Just a real quick background on the Mint Julep. It's a medicinal drink. It was a way to get a medicine into your body in a sweet way. Now, in this instance, the medicine is bourbon, and during the Kentucky Derby, there is a lot of medicine ingested through Mint Juleps. So there are about 120 thousand mint juleps sold during the derby that's a lot i forget how much they charge probably 15 bucks a drink and they come in one of these which is a collector's item glass these things are as fragile as a fabergé egg i've seen people try to leave the kentucky derby with 10 of these stacked like this and i'm here to tell you maybe two or three of them make it home so Let's get to making the mint julep. Don't break the glass. So we have our simple syrup right here, which is made up of one cup of sugar and one cup of water. We have crushed ice. And then we have the two most important factors, which is fresh mint and a good quality bourbon of your choice. All right, so watch out. This is gonna happen fast. The mint julep is a really simple drink to make. It just takes a couple moves to make it taste fantastic. So first we're gonna open the bourbon. I love the wax seal on Maker's Mark bourbon. That is just so cool. But you can use Maker's Mark, you can use Woodford. I'd use a quality bourbon, Jefferson Reserve. There are all sorts of great bourbons that are great for this. So then I don't have a muddler, so I'm not gonna be able to muddle this mint like maybe you might see somebody do. I'm just gonna take it and I'm going to wipe it around on the inside of the glass. Oh wow, I can already smell that wafting up out of there. It smells just great. And then just kind of smash it between your fingers a little bit. Don't be afraid to take our crushed ice. I just fill the glass all the way to the top. With the crushed ice. You want that crushed ice because you really want it to get Nice and chilly. Next, we're gonna measure out our bourbon. I'm gonna do basically one and a half ounces of bourbon. And if a little more bourbon jumps into the glass than one and a half ounces, you're gonna be okay. So, well maybe. There we go. Last. Take the simple syrup. I don't even measure at this point. If the glass isn't too big, if it's a big glass, you don't want a ton of simple syrup. But with this glass, just pour it right to the top. Shake it around a little bit. And then take your mint, stick it in there. So it's right there under your nose as you're sipping it. Let's try this. Oh man, that is good. That tastes like my hometown. That tastes like the Kentucky Derby tastes like springtime. Be safe, be well, enjoy the spring, happy derby. Oh